first training camp Jeff Fisher preseason game how do you find yourself fitting into the defense with your new teammates here uh yeah I mean you know I, I still don't even know how, how I'm gonna be utilized and stuff but uh you know it's it's just been a, a great experience so far um like you said we just wrapped up uh training camp at St. John Fisher we're you know we're I guess we broke camp and now we're back here at the facility and stuff but uh you know, it's been a great experience, you know, uh, just building off the off-season program. You know, obviously we were here for two months during the off-season program and, um, you know, just building up right right off where we left off right there. What is it like learning from guys like George Poyer and Mike and I? Yeah, I mean, the, I, mean I, I can't say enough good things about those two guys. You know, those, those two guys have uh, welcomed me in, uh, brought me under their wing, and, um, you know, just being able to learn from them. The two guys, you know, that still playing at an uh, all-pro level, um, have been all pros in the past just being able to come in and learn from them and you know pick their brains You know I sit by them in meetings just trying to gain any little tidbits of uh, information from them a little wisdom um, You know, it's just so so valuable to me. So it's, it's been a great experience When you sign with the team, I think you probably think this is what I think it's going to be like But since you've been with them now for a while through the spring and now What surprised you the most about the way maybe the way the Bills play the way they practice whatever it is being in this team? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think one of the first things that I, uh, you know, I always had respect for, um, you know, what, what Coach McDermott and, uh, you know, Brandon Bean have, have been uh, building here. And, um, you know, kind of just going back to free agency, you know, just uh, me just being able to find the right culture and the right team that, that not only fits me as a, a, a football player from a skill set, but also from a cultural uh, perspective and, and me as a, as a person as well. Um, you know, I've always had respect for how they play, how tough they are, um, how they go about their business. Um, you know, and, and, and everything has lived up to expectations from, um, you know, what, what I've had, uh, you know, going into this thing. So it's, it's just been a, a great experience. And, um, you know, we, we definitely work hard. We get, our, we get our work done, you know, like today. You know, today was a grinder, one of those days in, in training camp. But, um, you know, we're, we're tough. Um, we're hard-nosed. You know, we're always going to work hard. Um, but, you know, we're always honing on, you know, honing on the details as well. What your role is going to be, or is that still being defined as you're out here in practice? And meetings? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's still pretty early. Obviously, we got, we got a few weeks until the season, and um, you know, at, at the end of the day, um, all I care about is just being a puzzle piece to to be able to help this team, um, you know, take the next step and um, you know get to the Super Bowl. And um, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about winning. Whether it's you know me playing in a sub package, special teams, anything, I, anything the coaches ask me to, you know, that's at the end of the day, it's just about winning. So that's that's all I care about. When you're standing here, I'm sure it was not only just for. I'm sure you had a glimpse into the future as maybe looking at this team as a potential if they should have you, and if you like this place as a long term spot. And because it sounds like you've done your homework on being in McDermott, how much do you look ahead? I know it's obvious. How much do you look ahead to the future and think this could be a place where you fit long term? Yeah, I mean, you know, you always got to look at it, um, you know, from different perspectives and stuff like that. And um, you know, I, honestly, I don't, I'm not even really looking too much in the future. I, it's all it's all about right now for me. And um, you know, one one big thing that I've been trying to you know, work on on me as a person is, you know, just focusing in on right now and, and, and being mindful of um, being present, what's going on right now. And so, you know, obviously that's in the back of my mind about the future, but, you know, right now I, I'm just focused on this season, 2023 season, and, um, you know, getting to a championship and, and, and uh, you know, helping the Bills win. That's all that matters. You said you're not sure how you'll be utilized yet. What do you feel you can offer the defense? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I like to think that I'm a very versatile piece. And, um, you know, even dating back to my college days at University of Washington, um, you know, just being able to uh, play different things, you know, drop down, uh, play different techniques, play different um, positions, whether it be a pass down, third down, you know, rush, blitz, cover, um, you know, drop down in the box, play high, everything, um, you know, that kind of carried that on going, uh, you know, my last four years with the Rams and just being able to play multiple positions. So. Just being a versatile piece, and um, you know, uh, you know, Coach JB, John John Butler, uh, DB coach, always talks about you know the more you can do, um, you know, so uh, you know, just being able to try to show, um, you know, I can do multiple things. I, I can uh, take the the complex defense from multiple positions, and, and and being able to apply it on the field at multiple positions and doing multiple things. That's that's all that really matters. What is it 
I like when you're trying to learn a new defense and you don't know exactly where you're going to fit in. You're trying to learn both safety spots, different packages. It seems like it'd be a lot to try and pick up. Yeah, I mean, for sure. And, um, you know, I, I definitely have some growing pains, um, you know, dating back to the offseason program and, uh, you know, still still going through some growing pains. And, um, you know, I think that's all what, what it's all about, though. You know, you going through those growing pains, those learning pains, um, you'd never be perfect. Um, and, you know, even talking to J. Poe and, and Micah, you know, obviously they're in their, I think, seventh year together in this system. And they're still, you know, taking their game to another level and still learning, um, you know, their stuff. So. You know, there's there's always stuff that you can build on and, and, and learn from, and so, um, you know, even though I've, you know, this is my fifth year in the league, you know, obviously it's a, a very new, uh, new, new scheme, new defensive scheme to me. So, um, you know, just being able to, uh, you know, try try to do as much as possible, and um, you know, take it one day at a time, and you know, try not to overload you at one time. I think the coaches do an incredible job in installing it and not putting too much on it. But you know, just going back to. Um, you know the off-season program. I think the off-season program was was so great because you know it was obviously an intro, but we kind of threw everything in there. So you know when we broke from OTAs and I s still had that little summer break before we came back for camp. You know I was able to um, really hone in on what what we installed in the off-season program, know, knowing that we we're going to pick up right where we left off for training camp. Talk about Boyer and Hyde. Um, did you have did you know them at all, either guy, before you came here? And is what has anything surprised you? I mean, the seven years together is such a unique thing. Is yeah, anything? I mean, I, I didn't know them personally. You know, um, obviously, I knew them. You know, obviously, I uh, respected the game from afar. And I've, uh, you know, obviously, we watched, you know, all safeties across the league. You kind of know each other and know of each other and, and you know, respect each other's games. And, uh, you know, like I said, I, I can't say enough good things about those guys. Both those guys, you know, I, I don't think I could have two better pros to learn from. and. Um, you know, they, I, I just got so much respect for them and how, how they go about their process, how they, uh, you know, come in every single day, um, you know, about their routine, you know, how they, how they carry themselves through meetings, how they carry themselves through walkthroughs, through practice, through workouts, just their whole day. You know, I just got so much respect for them. And, um, you know, I, uh, I, I feel like I'm, I'm a, uh, you know, I, I am big process guy, just like those two guys. And, you know, just being able to see, um, them do it at such a high level for so long in this league. It's, um, you know, it's, it's, it's very special. So it's an uh, incredible opportunity. I, I can't, uh, can't say enough good things about those two guys. Talk about Micah and Jordan and just like some of these guys in the secretary are a full part of this team that have been together for a while. Like, what's it like for you kind of being the new guy? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely different. You know, obviously you're spending four years with the organization for the last four years and joining a new team and, um, new culture and stuff like that, but you know I've I've loved it ever ever since I've been here for the last you know three four months dating back to the off season program I've I've um, uh, I love it you know I, and you know I was telling some of the guys you know uh, in my four years in, in L A you know I, I actually felt more comfortable in here during the off season program within like the first month or something like that so it's just it, it's just a, a testament to you know how Coach McDermott and, and Brandon have uh, have built this roster not only you know the guys in the locker room but people in the facility, you know, the training staff, the strength coaches, um, you know, the admin, um, you know, the media, everyone really, you know, every, everyone here has welcomed me in. I, and it's just, uh, it's been, it's been an incredible experience so far. Oh, biggest personality? I don't know, I'll, I'll probably say <laughs> Shaq Lawson. He, he's, he's a funny one. I know you guys, you guys laugh about that one. <laughs> Thank you guys.